Hi guys and welcome to our channel Life as Miss Cooks. If you are new here, we hope that you consider subscribing and hanging out with us from time to time. In today's video, we are going to do a review um, on the Life of Fred Math Elementary series. And we have here with us apples, butterflies, and cats. For those of you that are not familiar with Life of Fred, it is a math curriculum based on a story. And so the story is about a five-year-old math professor named Fred, and he's a professor at Kittens University, and he has his best friend who's a stuffed animal named Kenji. Kenji. Now, before we jump into this, I do want to say that this video is not sponsored at all. Everything that you see here, I personally purchased with my own money. I just wanted to give our honest opinion of what we thought about Life of Fred. Okay, so we got started using Life of Fred because we were originally using Rod and Staff, and although I love Rod and Staff, all my other kids, as a matter of fact, are still using Rod and Staff. For Trey, it was not working. He didn't hate it, but he wasn't grasping the concept. So we felt like we were just spinning our wheels. It was like every day going over the same thing. Okay, wait, let's try it again. Let's try it this way. Let's add this. Let's do it this way. And it just was not working. And so instead of stressing him out and me being stressed out, I just took him to the store and I had him to look through several different math curriculums so that he could choose the one that he likes best. And so in doing that, he chose Life of Fred. Now, I will say this. I don't feel like Life of Fred is um, a standalone math curriculum. So we are... I don't. And so... <laughs> That's like why it. we are using it alongside with something else. He's doing this more so for his fun. I'm not requiring him to do this. We're actually doing um, math lessons for a living education. Um, but because he liked Life of Fred so much, we're letting him continue to go through the series. So, Trey, tell us what do you like best about Life of Fred? Well, I like how it breaks everything down and it teaches you about different stuff and not just not just math teach you about different characters and like different events and i i just like that and different movies i like that and but it puts a lot of fiction in it though and that's what i like because sometimes a math book it doesn't just need well for kids interest sometimes kids like fiction so they threw some fiction and they're like the wizard of oz movie and stuff like that. And I like how it explains everything to you. Like, everything it teaches you, it explains it. Not to where it's, like, too long to where you're like, oh, hurry up. But to where <laughs> it just keeps you in, like, a decent sentence or paragraph. And you're like, oh, that was decent. Okay, hmm. so it's short, sweet, but to the point. Yes, ma'am. Gotcha. Okay. Would you recommend this to other homeschoolers? Everybody. Public school children, too. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> explain Life of Fred to us. It's a story, correct? Yes, ma'am. Explain it to us a little bit. Well, Fred, he's an ordinary five-year-old kid. His best friend is a doll. He has two good, very nice human friends. Their name is Alexandra and Betty. They're both 20 years old. And they're just really nice to Fred. Well, they're his students. He's a five-year-old math teacher at the Kittens University. Okay. I don't know if it's a college. Is it a college? Yeah, university. That's a college. Oh, so it's like a college for, like, kids out of school, 18 years and older. Okay. And have you learned other things outside of just math from reading these stories? And so I learned about Archimedes. Okay. He's very talented. Okay. Well, guys. There you have it from the student himself. I'm gonna go ahead and let him finish doing whatever it is that he wants to go do in his own room and mm -hmm. I will jump back in. Thank you. Hello everybody, bye. Peace out, YouTube. Okay guys, so as you heard from Trey, he really loves this curriculum. Again, from my standpoint, I don't feel like it is enough to be a standalone math curriculum. So again, we're using this more as a supplement um, to what, it, what we're currently doing. And I'm gonna give a review on our current math curriculum also too. So 
Again, Life of Fred is a series of books that are short stories, and they're in alphabetical order. So you have apples and butterfly, cats, dogs, so on and so forth. Um, each book has about 18 chapters, I want to say. So it takes him, he does a chapter a day, so it takes him about two, two and a half weeks to finish. Um, if he wants to do more than one chapter a day, then I am fine with that. Because again, this is something that he's doing because he chooses to do it. He doesn't have to. Um, and like I said, each chapter, it starts off with a story about Fred, Fred and Kenji. And once you get to the end of the chapter, they have a section called Your Turn to Play. To where it's going to list, um, here we go. And so that's where it's going to list the questions. The questions are super short. So this particular, um, this particular chapter has three questions. And it's simple things like fill in the blank. Five plus blank equals seven. Four plus blank equals seven. And then he's done. Um, when you flip the page, it has the answers on the other page. I allow Trey to check his own work with this. So he gets at his red pen after he's finished. And if he has something wrong, he corrects it. If it's right, of course, you know, he just, it's right. Um, the reason why I let him check it because after when it's giving you the answer it gives you some more helpful tidbits so for instance this one says there are seven days in a week there are five weekdays and then it lists those weekdays there are seven i mean that leaves two days for the weekend and it lists the two days that are left for the weekend five weekdays plus two days on the weekend equals seven days in a week so just helpful things like that um to just reinforce what five plus seven is and then also in doing that it's reinforcing what the days of the week are so that's the reason why i let him check it um so yeah so we are really loving this again i don't feel like it's a a full um i don't feel like it could be a, a standalone um math curriculum but we love it he's learning from it he's learning more than just math concepts from it and so like he said he learned about archimedes he learned about um he learned some geometry, threw some geometry in there. I know that's math, but I'm just thinking at the top of my head of just different things that he's learned. And so he's able to apply those things in everyday life as well. He really enjoys the stories. They make the stories are like crazy funny stories that and then the drawings in there are just like, oh my God. I've had I've heard a lot of people say that the way that the they do the writings and things like that with the um, going from words to pictures and then also the different sizes in the fonts I've heard some people say that for autistic kids that it's difficult for them because it kind of throws them off um, so that's just something th throwing that out there for us I haven't had any problem and again Trey was not a big reader not because he couldn't read he just he didn't really like reading but he goes through these stories like none other so we're really happy with it. again you can purchase this at mardell's there's 16 bucks there is if you download the app there's a 30 percent off um coupon code that you can get off your app and now mardell's is allowing you to use the coupon code on homeschool curriculum as well so with um the 30 percent off you'll get it at a good price the resale value on these are very high i mean you can practically resell it for the price that you originally paid for it and people will still buy it um even if you go to like half price book to purchase it it's basically almost the same price that you can get it brand new from the store so the resale value on it is is good and it holds up if you have any questions about it go ahead and link those down below in the comment section um, and we thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider hanging around subscribing where I'm going to be, now that we're bringing the year to an end, doing a lot more homeschool reviews on the different curriculums that we've been using and things like that. So you guys take care. And again, thank you so much for joining us and watching today. Have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.